Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making some delicious minestrone soup. It's winter time out here in New Jersey and it's a Sunday, divisional playoffs. It's time for some great soup to have. So what we need is obviously at first we need a crock pot. Then we're going to need some tomato juice, a can of green beans, a can of beans, white beans, we need some diced tomatoes. We need some crushed garlic or minced garlic. You can use fresh, it's preferred, but I didn't have it, so I have the pre-cut stuff. Some Italian seasoning, we're gonna need a little of that. Some kidney beans. We're gonna end up needing two cans of vegetable broth. It's about four cups. We're going to need to cut up some fresh carrots, about two cups worth. We need to cut up zucchini. We're going to need to cut up an onion. We need to cut up some celery. We need to cut up some potatoes. We have some potatoes here. Salt and pepper, obviously, for soup. And ditalini pasta. Um, they're small little noodles. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some prep work off camera. I'm just going to dice these up and get two cups of the carrots, two cups of the zucchini, two cups of the celery, and I'm going to come right back when all that tedious stuff is done and two cups of potatoes. Uh, when that's all done, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we put it all together in the crock pot and make some delicious homemade minestrone soup. Okay, welcome back. Thank you very much. And I have, um, through the miracle of editing, I have diced and cut up all these beautiful vegetables. We have our carrots, we have our onions, we have our zucchini, we have our celery, we have our potatoes, we have our uh, uh, our tomato, garlic and Italian seasoning. And as you noticed, I did gain some helpers. Um, cooking in my house is often a family event, so my my twins are going to help me put everything together to show you how simple this recipe Hi. is to make. Hi. <laughs> All right, so what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna shift this over so that, hold up a second guys, I'm gonna shift this over so that you can see everything and how we, it's okay, and how we put everything in. Okay, right inside the crock pot. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna put in any order you wish, the celery, we're gonna put it in. And he's going to put it just on the side. He's going to make its own little pile. <laughs> Very good. Onion. Next, we're going to put the onions. They're going to be on in their the own middle. little pile. In right the on the side. Not on the middle. On the side. Like that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Next thing up is going to be the zucchini. Zucchini. <laughs> zucchini. Very good. Let's get that last little bit out of there. Hold up. Let's move that over. Okay, let's get the carrots. <laughs> now let's the put in the carrots in that pile. Awesome. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> now, uh, hold on. I need to get my potatoes. No, I want to do it. You want to get the How potatoes? How about we both put the, do all right, it? Put the potatoes right in there. Awesome. Now I have I'm my crushed tomatoes. Me I'm going to put them... Right off to the side here. I don't think it, it doesn't really matter. Yep. I'm gonna take my garlic. Oh no, I'm doing, I'm doing. With garlic, oh, it's no. going to be a couple of tablespoons. I'm just gonna take some garlic. I'm gonna throw it in there. We we love garlic in the house. Yeah, we love having garlic in the house. Yes, everybody loves garlic. Oh no, everyone I'm gonna take, in the world loves garlic, Dad. All right, so I'm gonna take my a teaspoon I'm of do my. It. I'm my Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over. I then do. I'm gonna take two cans of vegetable broth. They're gonna go in here. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm gonna take some pepper. I'm gonna throw some pepper in there. Yeah. Can I do the salt? Good. Now, no more extra salt because the chicken broth has salt in it and I don't wanna make it too salty. And then we have, <coughs> all right, 
Then we have... Lucas, you need your assistance. Our tomato juice. We have to put tomato juice in here. And tomato not juice. Come on, guys. Hola. Hello. We are making a soup today. Hola. And we have pepper. It smells good. And it does onion. smell good. And the, the last thing is we're going to do three cups. I'm going to do three cups of tomato juice. So why am I using the slow side? Let me do the fast side. There we go. And stop. Two cups. One. That's two cups. And then we're going to do an extra two. cup here. Three. You guys are too much. Three. And we're going to get two cups of water. I want to do the first cup of water. That's just two. It's just one thing. No, it's, it's not just, water. This is water. I just, used the, I just used the cup that had the... Okay. That's a lot. That is a lot. Makes a lot of soup. So what we're going to do now is... I want to put We're going on. to set the crock pot on high. I want to put it on. Okay, put the lid on. We're going to set the crock pot on high. And it's going to go three to four hours. And, and then we'll be back and we're going to add the beans and whatnot. So we'll see you in just a minute. Yeah. All right. It's been about three and a half hours and the soup smells delicious. Let's take a look. We're going to uncover yeah. it here so far. All right. Yeah, it smells good. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour in Some our cup pasta. of uncooked ditalini pasta. Pour it in Lucas. I got my helpers again. Diddleini. You said diddleini. It is diddleini. Logan is going to pour in a can of green beans, which we have drained. Okay. <laughs> Lucas is going to pour in Wait, a can one. of red uh, of white beans. Pour it in, Lucas. All of it. Pour it in. Now these have been uh, drained and washed. I just put them back in the can so it's easy for them. Okay. Now we're going to do a can of kidney beans, red beans. Excellent. So what we're gonna do now is carefully. Yeah, I don't think I would like Wait, it. there is no. Just I there's know. There's more. There's more. No more. There's, a, there's no more. So we're gonna carefully just give this a little mix. Yeah, because it's okay. full. It is full. Now we're gonna let it sit for between 15 to 20 minutes, so the pasta will be uh, good. Yeah, we have We'll be back. Ow. Oh, we'll be back. Sorry, we'll be back when uh, it's ready. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, and I uh, just want to tell you that the soup is now out, and it is absolutely delicious. Take a look at the noodles. You can see the tomato in there, the zucchini. Everything in there is cooked to perfection. Mmm. It's great. I definitely give it thumbs up. Enjoy this on a nice cold day with some fresh bread. It's killer. Thanks for watching. Make sure you rate, subscribe and uh, share with your friends. If you make it, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching.